The first case is a large macular hole three months after a vitrectomy for a retinal detachment. For this case, I decided to perform a modified inverted ILM flap technique. I start on the inferior nasal of the macula because it's more comfortable for me. And the first thing I do is conserve the flap around the macular hole. It's important to make sure that the flap is attached to the edge of the macular hole only. After that, I enlarge the limit orexis a bit. Using a low vacuum and low cap rate, I trim the flap to the size of the macular hole. During the fluid air exchange, you can reposition the flap by decreasing the intraocular pressure and aspirating the liquid near the fovea in the direction you want the flap. But remember to never touch the macular hole. One week after surgery, we can see the macular hole closure. The second case is a large macular hole six months after a vitrectomy for a retinal detachment. After implementing the modified inverted ILM flap technique, I check to make sure that the flap is attached to the edge of the macular hole only. Do not try to insert the flap or massage the edges of the macular hole. Now I trim the flap to the size of the macular hole. Two weeks after surgery, we can see the macular hole closure. I'm Dr. Moreno. Thank you for watching.